got to say for yourself, son? I was real good, Jar. Real good. And drive a little straight for a while and do another laugh. Look at the river. Look, man, you're making this road look more weavy than it is. guys we're back out on the trail we're here in north carolina we're in the linville gorge we're going to do the linville gorge loop um, we're not doing the whole grand loop we're actually going to try and cross the river if it's passable at the top end of the loop um, but yeah we're here in the linville gorge and we're here at wolf pit trailhead and we're going to get geared up we're going to hit the trail we have mr tim brown we have brandon gonna be a fun trip so for those of you that have watched a few of my videos, Tim here, his pack is like getting smaller and smaller every trip. Isn't that right, Tim? It sure is. New gear all the time. You know what else is getting smaller and smaller? Yep, that's what we hear. <laughs> you know, use it, lose it, huh? <laughs> right, so you must be losing it, huh? We'll Dang it, there. man. We'll get there. <laughs> Right out to start, when you start down at a Wolf Pit Trailhead, if you go counterclockwise, which we're, we're doing, you're gonna gain a boatload of elevation real quick. We're starting at like 2,700 feet, and we're gonna go up to almost 6,000 feet over like a five mile span. So, pretty good amount of elevation right off the start. What do you guys think? Heart's racing already. Feels nice, don't Bring it? it? Say nothing. I'm not sweating, you're sweating. Oh man, that's no joke already. Sweating like I got raped by an ape. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> There's no airflow up here, and the elevation is steep. All right, that ape's up there. You can hear it. <laughs> so we had to stop, take a quick break. We're only a mile in, and it's hot. Like, it's super hot. Tim was almost out of water already. He filtered that water. <laughs> um, it's fine, but, yeah, we, we've been sitting here about 15 minutes taking a break. And uh, I'm about to continue on. We keep stopping like every five minutes. We just keep coming along to these awesome views. Check this out. That's pretty awesome. That's why we come out here. I say it all the time. It's beautiful, good food for the soul. And again, an awesome view right around the corner. Man, this is amazing. Linville Gorge does not disappoint. Look at this. That is so cool. Might not be able to see it in the video. Kind of foggy, but beautiful. All right, so we've been hiking for about an hour and a half. We just keep stopping like every five minutes. It's hot, but the views are amazing out here. Um, Linville Gorge is it's pretty impressive. It's very pretty. It's kind of like a much bigger version of the Red River Gorge. I can't even talk. Um, but yeah, we've been moving about an hour and a half. We're just about two miles in and our goal is today is to at least get to Short Off Mountain, 
which is probably about five miles or so, and then do um, find a campsite for the night. And once we get um, to our campsite, we're gonna try to wake up early, bust out some good miles tomorrow. We'll have to do about 15 miles tomorrow. We will have to cross the river tomorrow. We're still not quite sure how that's gonna go. On camp, we're five and a half miles in. So just about what we thought we'd do today. Um, it's eight o'clock at night and we could probably push a little bit further, but the trail's pretty thick over in this side and it's kind of hard to find a trail in a lot of the areas. So we're just gonna stop here. It's actually a pretty nice campsite, pretty wide open, lots of space, nice little fire pit here. So we're gonna set up, get some food and uh, probably drink a little bit of whiskey and you know, just kind of hang out. Hopefully we can get a fire going, but uh, yeah. If, if you do do the Linville Gorge, there's like no water on the whole backside if you do it counterclockwise. So just be aware. Mm -hmm. Camp is all set up. Let's take a look at it. There is my setup, same as the last few trips. Single rainbow, um, pre outdoors XL sleep pad. I think it's like the recharge, I think it's what it's called. And it's pretty warm out, so I'm just using the Costco quilt. Got the Philo pillow, um, Superior Wilderness Designs pack, food bags, all the good stuff. Tim is not bivying it up today. Tim has got this uh, huge pre-outdoors tarp, 10 by 12. Got a ton of space in there. Man, look, Tim, you got sexy legs, brother. Well, thank you. Look at those things. Check out that tan line. I know, those tan lines, man. It's all about the symmetry. Uh, right. So, <laughs> yeah, so Tim's, Tim's got the tarp going on. He's using the um, static static v or something like that whatever that sleep pad is i don't oh, yeah yeah the, the climate climate static v light yeah yep. climate static v light and then brandon's over there <laughs> we've got to get ready for guests right brandon's showing off his legs look at those things oh yes <laughs> um dream hammock ugq tarp pre-outdoors 30 degree quilt and pre-outdoors sleep pad is Brandon's setup. Yeah, buddy. And we got the fire going. We're gonna sit down, eat some food, drink a little bit of whiskey. We got some beer that we picked up at the uh, the lunch stop. So, gonna be a good night. Guys, it's day two. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Went to sleep last night about 10 o'clock. I slept pretty good. I slept until like uh, about 3, 3.30, something like that. And I've just kind of been hanging out in my tent until the sun came up. The sun's out, so it's time to get up, start moving. Um, I've already ate breakfast. I've already sat down, meditated, did the, did the Wim Hof method. And I'm gonna start packing up. All packed up. And we are back on the trail. It is not quite eight o'clock in the morning. I think a little bit ago I said it was about eight o'clock, but it was actually six o'clock in the morning. So we're packed up and on the trail by eight. And we're gonna have to do a big day today. We're just past Short Off Mountain. 
and we're gonna have to push all the way down to the river at least to get water that's kind of a concern right now we actually there's no water basically on this side of the trail and um between all three of us we probably got about a liter of water left and we got probably about five miles before we're even going to see water but so we're going to push down to the river um fill up on water hopefully get into the river um get cleaned up a little bit maybe do some cold soaking may have to swim across the river just to get across of it we don't know how that's going to go yet but um we are going to have to do a big day we're going to have to do 15 16 miles to put us in range to get out of here at a decent time tomorrow so let's get this day started It is steep. What do you think, Tim? Steep. I want to go home. All right, so we are um, trekking up, and we're going to follow along this ridge right here, and then we're going to head, head down. But right now, we're working our way, getting up over that guy. It's been tough so far. We're only like half we hour in. Much right along the chimneys. And uh, they're right back there. There's that little spur trail right there. Rex are gonna tr try and climb up out there on the chimneys, get right on the edge and get a pretty sweet view. The chimneys, this is freaking awesome. Look at that view in the background, all the way around. Just amazing. Linville Gorge does not disappoint. This is so pretty up here. It's hard, but it's always worth it. All right, to put this in perspective, we started clear down there in the gorge yesterday, climbed all the way up that, that short off mountain, came all the way down and around into the valley down there. I know it's super foggy, it's hard to see. And then we climbed all the way back up here to the chimneys. And now we're heading around, heading around this way. And we're gonna head over that way and then eventually we're gonna hit tabletop rocks, summit tabletop rocks, and then go down and around, hit the river, and then back all the way and follow the river back down into the gorge down there. Let's do it. Hey Tim, what do you think of this so far? Oh, the views are fantastic. That's... You work to get to them, but worth it. Every yeah, bit. It's awesome, man. Brandon? Yeah. Thigh highs. Piece what do you think, man? Dude, I'd do this every weekend. I physically can't, but I would if I could. What do you think of the views? <laughs> They're epic. It's, um, yeah, it's a little bit of everything, honestly. It's like uh, a massively scaled Red River Gorge. There's some parts that are like Dolly Sods, a couple that are like Virginia. It's just, it's cool. Super pretty. Just a little bit of rock scrambling. Just scramble through the rocks to come up to this. This is awesome. Feels more like a gorge. It looks more like a gorge than what the, the Red River. We made it to the um, trailhead parking of Table Rocks. We're not going to go out to Table Rocks, I think. It's super foggy. The, it's just super dense and you can't see anything. So I don't even know if there's going to be a view. Um, so we're just going to continue on. We ran into some uh, rock climbers back there. They actually gave us some water, which was really nice because we're still a couple miles away from water. But uh, we're going to hike on 
And right now we're on the, the Mountain Cedar Trail MST. And we are just gonna hike on and hike down to the river. All right, sing again. You gotta make it a multi <laughs> Um, we coming down off a tabletop, table rack, whatever it's called. I don't even know. <laughs> um, coming down, it's basically like straight downhill. You lose like almost 3,000 feet of elevation from up there all the way down to the river. We're currently about two miles away from the river. We just stopped, take a quick pack break, eat some snacks, and then I think we're going to take a lunch break around the river sometime. And then uh, we'll be pushing on the other side. Probably do try to get at least 10 more miles in today. We're currently at about three and a half. So minimum 10 more miles today. You guys ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we have officially come to our first stream to fill up water. We've been hiking for all day yesterday and a couple hours today. And the first time we've had a chance to fill up water is this little stream. Um, so we did the entire, basically the entire side of the loop yesterday. Um, did short off mountain and ta or the chimneys and then table rock. And then once you come down around, you'll see a South Ridge Trail. And if you, you go to the left, there's actually a water source about a quarter mile off that. So it's your first source for water. So again, if you do come out here, be prepared to do the entire side with no water. Oh, we have made it to the uh, river crossing and honestly, it's not so bad. I mean, over here, it's pretty deep over on this other side. Looks like we can just jump across the rocks and um, get across to the other side, but we'll definitely be able to get across it. But for now, we're going to go swimming, get cleaned up a little bit. I smell really, really bad. But yeah, we're going to sit here, um, just kind of chill around the river for a while, eat lunch, and then we'll push out and bust out the other side of the loop. What you guys eating? Got apple wood smoke, white meat chicken, skippy on a pita, pulled meat in sauce, tortillas. Pulled meat. <laughs> I'm eating barbecue pulled pork and tortillas. Lunch break is over. Swimming time is done. Water felt amazing. Felt good to get some food in our system. We got plenty of water on this side already now. So um, it's a nice break. Now the river crossing, that's tricky. Definitely, uh, definitely need to pay attention. Brandon tried to rock hop, he fell, kind of hurt himself a little bit, slipped down in, and basically after he put on dry clothes, he's wet again. He's fine. And then me and Tim just put our shoes on, we just walked across it. And in the one spot, it's about, about waist deep. As long as you step on the rocks, you won't sink down in too far. There's a pretty good current and the rocks are slick. So do the Linville Gorge. Make sure you're prepared to do the river crossing if you're gonna do the whole Grand Loop. Been 
hiking for a while now since we crossed the river. We're about 10 miles in and uh, we're just back down here by the river. We're gonna get some water, take a little pack break and then hike on. All right, we have made it to the second river crossing. This one looks like it's only gonna be about knee deep. You can walk across it. Um, hoping there's a campsite right around here. It's been a long day. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, um, but yeah. So hopefully find a campsite here real soon, as soon as we cross, cross this river. river. Found camp, there's a little campsite right here on this side of the river, worked out perfect. It's just a tiny little site right off the trail, but doesn't matter, we're gonna make it work. We're all exhausted. It's been a long day. Gonna get set up, get some food, probably go soak in the river. Morning guys, it's day three. It's pretty early, just a little after six o'clock in the morning. We're getting packed up. We're gonna try and be on the trail by seven and uh, we're just gonna hike out of here. We had a good, li a good night last night once we got to camp. Um, we just sat around the fire, ate some food, relaxed. It was a long day yesterday. Kind of chit-chatted with our neighborly hikers and then um we went to bed and and we're ready to get this thing over with so we're gonna hike out we do have a pretty big um climb out of here we got like 1.7 miles to go and just over a thousand feet of elevation i believe so it will be a trek out of this gorge but we're ready to get back to the car get some food have some beer you know how it works oh and one other thing if you do this and leave your toilet paper lay around on the trail, you're an asshole. All right, here's the intersection. That was a brutal climb up, over a thousand feet and just over a mile. That was hard, really hard. I'm ready to get to the car. Wolf pit, trailhead, straight down here. As long as you're not taking it in the rear. I'll take the rear. <laughs> take both don't, the rears. Don't want to be doing that. <laughs> hey, you got the audio on this, right? <laughs> Back to the car, a little post-hike beer. Been waiting for this. Brandon's been talking about it all weekend. No. <laughs> it's funny, this morning we just mentioned the word beer and he was like right up out of that hammock and ready to go. Yeah. Held my alarm. Oh we're gonna enjoy gosh, this though. So good. And then we're gonna head home. Thanks for watching guys. Yeah.